Now, years later, when the old bastard was dead, I went back up into the loft, took down that chest and opened up. Do you know what I found in there? Dead monkey with his legs sewn together. <laughs> Jeez. You remind me of that monkey, Jamie. Oh! <laughs> wow! Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Flavor. The flavor today is the best of Frankie Boyle. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at the best of Frankie Boyle. You did, man. How do people survive in this town in this Bell and Sebastian gear, man? <laughs> I struggle with specs, do you know what I mean? And you've dressed up as a child and you get away with it. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Telecoms engineer. What do you do for them? <laughs> Put in phones. People don't have phones in the house anymore. Why did they? Right? Let's <laughs> get an argument then, right? Because I've got a house. Do you want to know if there's a phone in it or no? There is no. <laughs> the one one? No. <laughs> you clamped <laughs> clamped and shattered pal <laughs> so people don't tend to have landlines anymore do they? they use mobile phones so what are you doing <laughs> you do it for the bank occasionally the bank needs a phone in somebody's house that's someone with a really big overdraft that the bank manager's going to need to actually get a hold of you at a moment's notice and go have you just been out buying sweeties <laughs> you're going to have to justify yourself what do you want to buy phones in man do you want to talk to people? There we go. <laughs> Sweeties. Did you fail the audition for Rain Man by being too pedantic? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk to people about that so badly that they need to put their own phone in their home? You don't know. I can see why they don't trust you with that information. <laughs> Any ideas? Any suspicions? Who are these people? What do they look like? Are they lizards? What is this? The bank's going putting phones in people's houses and... What is this? Is this a dream? Why are they doing this? What do the phones look like? Normal phones? Big massive ones. <laughs> now I don't know if it's my dream or yours. That's what I'm, I'm trying to work out here. You don't know what you do, do you? <laughs> that was just the cover story your mum gave you to say. You're never at a comedy show and anyone asks you what you do, say you put in phones for the bank. <laughs> That'll fucking fox him. <laughs> You're his girlfriend, what do you do? <laughs> Nothing. Fantastic, an honest answer for once. If only you'd come up with that. <laughs> that saved ten minutes of every fucker's life. <laughs> This guy you put the phone in the house of. <laughs> Is it Noel Edmonds? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, man? Jamie. Jamie. I'm going to educate you, Jamie. You know how at your age, when you first start going out with someone, you've got to think of stuff during sex to put yourself off, to stop yourself from coming. Right? Truth is, when you're 38 like me, You've been out with someone for seven years. You no longer have to think of stuff to stop yourself from coming. <laughs> All you have to do is look down at your partner's face oh. and see the faces of your own children. <laughs> wow, your cum face is exactly like the face the wee man pulls when he's hurt his knee. <laughs> she knows it too, Jamie. She doesn't want sex, she comes to bed wearing Spider-Man pyjamas. <laughs> trying to think if I've got any other advice for you. Yeah, 
never let anyone ram a big Toblerone up your arse. <laughs> <laughs> and if they do, don't rip it out straight away. Wait for the corners to melt a bit. Nice, nice, nice. The corners to melt a bit. <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm like what I'm like, Jamie. I think I can explain it to you. When I was a wee boy, my granddad used to take me up into the loft. He'd take down a chest that he kept up there. He'd open up the chest. Do you know what was in it? A mermaid. And he'd have me strip naked as a wee boy and make love to that mermaid on the floor for his sexual gratification. Now, years later, when the old bastard was dead, I went back up into the loft. I took down that chest and opened up. Do you know what I found in there? A dead monkey with his legs sewn together. <laughs> Jeez. You remind me of that monkey, Jamie. Oh! <laughs> wow. Wow. You know, <laughs> what a story, Frankie Boyle. You remind me of that monkey, Jamie. Oh, no. You know what I mean? Woo! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time. Do this.